Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and I'm here today to do another tutorial but before I get into that I just want to say thank you so much for the positive response from the napkin washi tutorial. I have quite a bit of new subscribers here and I just want to thank you guys so much. I hope you guys were able to try out that um, tutorial making the washi tape and today I am doing a video that kind of gives you more options on making the same thing so I know I've mentioned this a few times before but my Tuesday morning closed and it's been a little bit harder for me to find napkins so I was thinking about it and I actually filmed another video related to this before this one, but I'm gonna release this one first because this is more related to the last video. We are going to use the leftover parts of the napkin. So I have saved just the back um, white parts of the napkins that I used and I've always saved it aside and sometimes I use it to like clean my desk or do something that you would normally do with a napkin um, but I was thinking about it and I was like what if we use this to make more napkins and I did another tutorial that's going to be coming up that is another way of doing this but I wanted to see if this would work because I had this on hand it's just sitting in my drawer so I decided to try printing on it and I'm going to show you guys how I did this but this is a digital from Adamo Prints it's a beautiful digital I love these flowers I feel like I could keep printing these over and over again and never get sick of them. But this is printed onto napkin. And they also printed this printable from KB and Friends. I think it would be beautiful as washi tape, so that's why I chose this one. But let's go ahead and take it off of the backing paper. And we need this backing paper in order to print on napkin and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that but let's look at the real finished product here first now sometimes you're not going to get the full napkin you see here this ripped a little bit I've been doing a lot of crazy things on my printer and every time I try something new, I'm just holding my breath. And I try to take as many precautions as I can before I push print. Um, so if you guys do try this out, please remember that every printer is different and just proceed with caution and take all the precautions that you can. And I'll, I'll go over what I did to make sure that it would print correctly. But, um, what I was saying is that sometimes little pieces of it will be messed up. Luckily it didn't catch on the printer, although it could have. None of the stuff that I fed through my printer has ever jammed my printer. So I don't know if my printer is good or if it's I'm just lucky. Um, my printer is just an HP printer. Basically the cheapest printer I could find at Best Buy when my other one like conked out. Um, but also when you use this method it sometimes is not fully usable the image because you're using tape and you'll see later when I show you how I prepared this but let's take a look at this off the paper it's really pretty. I know you guys can't really see the full texture and feel the full texture, but it's just so pretty. It's very delicate. 
and I'm going to make washi tape out of this. And this will need to get cut out as well. If it's a sturdier situation, then I do just tear it off. But I know this napkin is super fragile. So what I'll do is I'll prepare a bunch of these and then I will cut them all off and leave them on the side until I need to use one of these. So there we have that one. Now as you can see the napkin was a little bit ripped so it just printed onto the paper itself and that would be pretty in collage as well. Alright so I have chosen a napkin if I could find it. <laughs> so what you will need is a napkin. I'm choosing this napkin. And then you'll need a piece of paper. You can use something that you printed on and you no longer need, like scratch paper. Um, I'm just using printer paper, but just make sure that the paper is completely hole and it's not wrinkled the corners not folded down because you want it to be as whole as possible so that when you feed it through the printer you're making it as easy as the pr on the printer as you can we will need some tape and because I'm trying to print on the printer I'm going to try to try to peel it off like this first before I use the tape method. So there we have one sheet and all right. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this to use like a napkin for decoupaging or if I wanted to make more washi tape. And I'm going to save this for another project. But we have this piece here. So I will go ahead and tape down the edges. And I like to lay down some plastic. This is just packaging from stickers from Dollar Tree. Just a nice big piece of plastic, so I saved it. And I'm putting the printer paper over the plastic. I'm lining this up as best as I can. And I'm just going to take a length of tape and tape it down. So because the plastic is there, I'm taping everything down but it's easy to peel it off. And then I can turn it over and just tape the edge that's hanging over onto the back. So we have a clean, smooth line. And that's probably the most important part so that it doesn't give your printer a hard time. Then I'm going to take this edge and I'm just going to actually cut it to fit, to make it just a tiny bit smaller than the paper. And I'll then do the same thing to the other side. Now it's really preferable to make sure that everything's super smooth because it could catch on your printer. So keep that in mind. Keep it as smooth as possible. Some of the ones that were not completely flat to the paper, 
um, worked fine on my printer but again everyone's printer is different and every printer is gonna be good at doing certain things or feeding something through really well and then I'm gonna tape this side and this is a side that I'm gonna feed through the printer so I'm gonna be extra extra thorough and make sure that every single edge is taped down. So I don't know if it's showing up, but you can see that I've gotten all the edges. It's very cleanly taped down and the tape is flush against the paper. Well, in this case, the, pa the tape didn't go over the edge. And I did leave the third, the fourth edge empty, meaning I didn't tape it. So I taped down the two long sides and the one short side that's gonna get fed through the printer. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because you could totally tape this side down as well and if it's the first time you're doing this um, through your printer I would do it just to make sure that everything goes smoothly but I've found that if I leave one edge open it's not going to do anything because that side is just coming out of the printer anyways so my printer and this is another thing that um, you're going to have to figure about figure out about your printer is that mine prints like this um, I have to put the side that I want the ink on. So of course I want the ink on the side with the napkin. I have to put it face down with my printer. And then my printer pulls it up like this and it starts printing like this. So it's flipping it over. So first I would figure that out about your printer. And you know what? If you put it in the wrong way, it's just going to print on the the backing paper and that's fine too because you could use that just make sure you turn it over the other way so that you could print it on the napkin um, but please please be very cautious with your printer and just really work with it <laughs> because we know printers can be very finicky um, but yeah this is super fun to do I love printing different things to see how they're gonna turn out and essentially we're making our own napkins and that is really exciting because now you have more choices you can print out your favorite digitals from your favorite um, digital designer and they're usually small businesses which I love because you're just supporting a small business and I don't know I've, I've just been loving it um, yeah so I hope you'll give this a try and if you do um, please let me know how it turns out but thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time bye everyone